What's up, guys? Welcome to Panoy Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. My name is PJ. Joining me is my host, Marky Mark. And we got a special guest. We got Arish. Arish, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. All right. Now, Marky Mark hasn't seen your mixtape yet, but he's seen you play, obviously. We've coached against you. So let's first get introduced to you with the mixtape. So let's play that. <laughs> oh, how long is this? This was uh, last year. Last year? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh. I won. Ow. Yo. Step back. The shot's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're a lefty. Yeah, that's what we always do. <laughs> when we coach against you, we can't stop you because you're yeah. lefty. I don't get that. Like, what's so different about being lefty? It's unorthodox. Like, for people like that are righties, because they're used to someone like... Oh. The heavy, the full work. Ooh. Arish. That's a righty too. That's a righty <laughs> layup. Why not? I'm not. I'm not no left hand bandit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what do you me. think about the mixtape, Mark? We've coached against yeah. you, so we've always like <laughs> find ways. Like, hey, every time we face you, and like, how how are we gonna beat? Like, you know, you didn't. She didn't have to score sometimes, mm -hmm. and she, we would still be like, you know, trying to find ways to win because she just knows how to play ball. And, like it's, and like, in terms of like when we play against you, like, in terms of the level that you play in, like, even like, with your teammates, like, the level that you play in, it's, like, above your teammates. <laughs> so when we play against yeah. you, like, you're already, like, two or three of your best players are, like, in your team, and then there's you. <laughs> so it's, like, it's, it's something that we rarely see. Like, we, that's why we like coaching the girls' team, yeah. mm -hmm. um, because the skill level is just there, but then you just kind of set it off a little bit. So let's, let's talk about yeah. you right now. So let's talk about how you got into basketball. Our favorite question is, what inspired you to start basketball, or what was your beginning story? Uh, I started playing basketball in the fifth grade. It was all recess basketball. Um, in the fifth grade, that was when I came to a Filipino school. And like, you guys already know about Filipinos. It's all basketball. Yeah. And before that, I was a soccer player. So recess, I would play with the boys. Girls would just like talk around, gossip, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But yeah, fifth grade, it was all recess basketball. And I was really good at dribbling. And I liked crossing people. Yeah. And so that really set it off, just like having fun. I like making the crowd like know who I am. And so yeah, that's really start off. Mm -hmm. Was there a specific uh, player that you used to watch back then or it was just in terms of like you just watching people play in, in the schoolyard and you're like I want to play that? Yeah. Uh, I'd say Kobe. Yeah. He was just a killer like on and off the court like he had this crazy work ethic and that kind of mo motivated me into wanting to be the best, wanting to work even on days I didn't have practice so I would work on my individual things. Mm -hmm. Was there a moment, because obviously everyone plays basketball to have fun with their friends, right? Mm -hmm. But was there a moment that you're like, oh my gosh, I'm actually pretty good at this. I should take this seriously. I should actually wake up and practice every day. Was there a moment or was it something that was always in you? Honestly, I think my moment to take basketball seriously mm -hmm. was in the 10th grade. Um, I was playing and that's when Division One basketball school started contacting me. And that's when I knew that I could be really good at this. And so that's where it really set off. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned to me that, you know, um, like you and me, we went, we grew up in the Philippines and then moved here mm -hmm. a little bit early in, the, in, in our lives. Like, how was that, that transition for you from, you know, playing here back in the Philippines to playing here? Like, was there a difference that you noticed in terms of... Oh, I of, didn't play in the Philippines. Not much, yeah? No, I didn't play uh, basketball until the fifth grade. Yeah. So I was really just a for fun, raw athlete. I played yeah. basketball. I mean, I played soccer, baseball, yeah. like anything but basketball. Mm -hmm. What, uh, what basketball, like what Filipino teams did you play for growing up? Was it always, because we know you as Jayhawks, the Jayhawks, yeah. like, yeah. nightmare. The, 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 the <laughs> Jayhawks, uh, yeah. but, killer that she was in. Yeah, but what, what teams were you always with? Or, uh, Filipino wise? Yeah, or? Filipino wise, yeah. Um, so if you knew me from day one, mm. uh, Angels with oh, yeah. Kuya Ariel Alfonso. So I was mm. with him in the sixth and seventh grade. Mm. And then from the eighth grade, and then on, that was Jayhawks. Mm -hmm. So really two Filipino teams. Mm -hmm. And what, what did you think about the Filipino leagues in general? Talk about your mentality going into the Filipino league or even what are people saying about you in the Filipino league? Um, well, first off, like Filipino basketball, everybody, like all Filipinos are fast. It's a fast paced game. It's mm -hmm. kind of scrappy, rough. Um, I wouldn't really say it's very fundamentally sound. Like everybody just wants a bucket. Yeah. And nowadays that social media is taking over. Everybody's kind of doing it for the mixtapes now. Yeah. And so when I come, like before when I was a starting Filipino league, Everybody was kind of be like, who's this kid? He's so small, blah, blah, blah. But over the years, obviously, I've developed. And now it's changed. It's crazy seeing it like, oh, my God, it's Sarij from mm -hmm. before, where it was like, who is this kid? Mm -hmm. What did you, uh, what did, you know, uh, in terms of your game, uh, throughout your years as you grow and, and develop, 
did you kind of model your game a certain player or have you always been like Kobe straight up in terms of your... Uh, I had Kobe, Allen Iverson. Um, mm -hmm. If you know me, like my go-to move is my right to left crossover. Yeah, yeah. Allen mm -hmm. Iverson hit Michael Jordan with that. Yeah. I don't even know if it was left right it or was, right to yeah, left. Yeah, but, but it was left that one. So it feels the same, right? Yeah, that left, it was that you're crossover. You're more right to left. Yeah, I see, and yeah. right now, Isaiah Thomas. I know he's going through a struggle, but like he's really the definition of heart over height. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So yeah, he's really killing it at five nine. Well, mm -hmm. he's five eight, but five nine on a good day. Mm -hmm. Talk about your transition, because you've been Filipino leagues, but you're playing with non-Filipinos, right? Yeah. And you're playing at high level, and you're about to go to the States to play ball. So talk about um, that transition, playing against non-Filipinos, and what does it take to play with people that are well, taller than you and faster and more athletic? Um, so again, with the Filipino community, it's very mm -hmm. fast, rough, like all that. Um, playing with non-Filipinos, it's very different, because again, they're bigger than me, so it's a lot harder to get in the paint. Um, obviously longer wingspan so mm -hmm. uh, with me I had to really develop my IQ um, finding my way being accountable to, with my teammates as in being a point guard getting into the paint even through the gaps finding the right people and obviously I wouldn't be a scorer because it's hard it's uh, mm -hmm. it's hard to get a bucket so it's really doing my job as a point guard mm -hmm. so facilitating the team starting the offense and even as a small guard like me I have to be a pest on defense mm -hmm. And, and uh, I was going to ask too, in terms of uh, your game or, or otherwise playing the game, what type of things or what kind of qualities do you kind of value or take pride in, in yourself uh, and you would think that you differentiate from other players? I'd say my defensive ability, again, I'm small, but I, I lock up. I think I, I do well on the defensive end, even with my small sides, I'm there on help side. And also like my ability to, to pass. As you guys know, like sometimes I don't even score on mm -hmm. you guys when you yeah. play. Um, I think I've t I take pride in that because I think I find my shooters, I find like my big man, so I, I really like passing. Mm -hmm. uh, you played in prep, right? You played. Yeah. What, or what would you say about prep, and what would you say about your coach? Has is there any stories that come up or valuable advice that he's given you that you really take? Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, my uh, my caption is always "Be special," and I remember like. I had this crazy game. Uh, I was scoring back to back to back, and he co he told me like, go ahead, go out there and be special. And like from then on, like I, I I told myself I'm like I think I could be really good at this, and that's really where my work ethic came and just my drive to get better. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, be special. Mm -hmm. Do you? Don't be like everybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a great uh, the slogan. Uh, what about uh, in terms of this coming off season for you before your season starts in your school? What's some of the things that you're planning to work on, or you think? to develop on within the next few weeks or so? Uh, I hope to be more vocal. Uh, my coach tells me I'm very quiet. Um, I think I do my role, but again, there's always things to do better. Mm. So again, be more vocal, be more assertive as the point guard because you are the extension cord of the coach. Um, and also be a more consistent shooter. So I told you this, uh, I know I can shoot, but it's really different in game, like when there's people on you, and especially like with my height. Mm -hmm. I really got to get my shot, like the arc higher, so yeah. Now, I, I know, I think I've, I saw you try to coach Jayhawks in the past <laughs> tournament. So as, so as coach. I reach the coach, as the coach yeah. what, what were you imparting wisdom to these other girls? Or what would you um, tell, tell girls that want to play ball? And uh, you have wisdom to impart. So what, would, what were you telling them? Or what would you like if we were little girls that are aspiring to play if basketball. If Mark was a little girl, I don't yeah. want to be a little Oh, girl. I do have the high <laughs> so, yeah. If you were a little girl, it's fine. Yeah. Um, who cares what everybody says about, oh, that's such a, that, that's a tomboy thing, or mm -hmm. like that's a, boys is, uh, basketball is only for boys. Um, who cares if it's fun for you and you like what you're doing, go do it. And it's always amazing to see guys be like, whoa, you play like a boy or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, it's always amazing being the, the underdog. So for little girls, like, be special, like, kill those boys. I don't care how tall they are, how big they are, like, go kill him. Mm -hmm. Really, um, have fun with it. Uh, and, and just just for the audience, what school are you going to? And and, and I guess your excitement. What, what are you excited about? Uh, so school? I'm going to Concordia University in uh, Montreal, Quebec, and I'm very excited because they're grown women. Um, so it's a it's a higher level for me. Uh, I've always been playing like these past years. I've been playing with people who I've been playing with since I was younger. Mm -hmm. So now it's great to be in a different environment, different people finally. Because yeah. again, I've been playing with these girls for. Uh, like for three years now. Mm -hmm. And your biggest rival, who's your biggest rival or yeah. any shout outs that you'd like to give to any competitors that have you faced before? Um, 
Filipino rival. Yeah. CJ Nafuente. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, obviously, she's she's a, she's on a different level, yeah. but yeah. that's someone I've looked up to when I was younger. Like she was that one who really set the tone. Like who, like if you really think about it, who was there before CJ? Like a girl mm. baller, yeah. no one. Yeah. So yeah. Mm-hmm. really, she's the one that I've looked up to, and I hope that one day I have the opportunity to go head to her head with her. Like mm-hmm. I play with her, yeah. so one day I have to go against her and like see where I'm at. <laughs>